Ginger is probably my number one most recommended for all digestive issues across the board. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to do a little review on ginger root extract. To be honest, there's so, so many good supplements out there. I was kind of just reviewing every random supplement that came by me. For me, a lot of times supplements will work right away and do what they're supposed to do. And I come on here, you know, after a week and I come and I say, oh yeah, you know, it did what it was supposed to do. I really like it. And then the effectiveness really goes down. Ginger is one of those supplements that I was actually surprised was so effective for me. And it has kind of jumped its way up probably into my top five or top 10 most used supplements. And I have, you know, maybe 30 different really, really good superfoods or really, really good supplements that I use every day. So that's actually saying a lot. What's weird is mostly everybody's heard of ginger. Every time I've talked to anybody, you know, there's actually like ginger flavored tea. People put ginger on like their food. Some people get like a ginger shot at like a health food store, but almost nobody says that they supplement with ginger regularly. And it's it's kind of crazy because I found it to be so effective. So many people know about it, but it's just really not that used. So online I saw that the dose was 500 milligrams to a thousand. I would say a good daily dose for everybody is a good 500 milligrams based on maybe if you're a little bit bigger, if you have a little bit more issues that ginger can help, then you take a little more. Personally, I take in between 500 to about 1500 to 2000 ish. I have these 750 milligram capsules and I capsule them myself. Usually when I need to go hard on the ginger, I go about three in the morning and I'll do that daily until things just clear themselves up. Ginger is very spicy and sweet. It's been used as a spice for a long, long time. And there's also like a hundred different kinds of ginger. So I have ordered ginger and I've gotten powder and it is a little bit different, but overall it is pretty much the same. The ginger I have right now, it is a little bit sweeter and a little bit less spicy than the last batch that I got, but. So let's go over what they claim ginger can do online. I think there's actually more benefits than this. These are the ones that came up really, really easy with the Google search. And I'm actually surprised that there's a lot of data behind some of the things that ginger is supposed to help. A lot of times, you know, people will say that it does help and maybe in other countries, people have said that it's helped for a long time, but over here, there's been like no tests done. There's actually been quite a bit of of tests on ginger. It improves brain function. It protects against Alzheimer's. It lowers cholesterol. It contains a substance that may prevent cancer. It fights infections. It helps nausea slash morning sickness. It helps weight loss, osteoporosis, drastically lowers blood sugars, improves heart disease, risk factors, can treat indigestion, significantly help PMS pain. So there's a lot of things in there. I guess I'll just jump into the pros right now. The pros that I had, this this is mainly an all-in-one digestive aid. Uh, most, most all of your issues that you're gonna have in your stomach could be helped with ginger. I do have a lot of really good supplements for the stomach. One of the ones I reviewed a little while ago was psyllium husk. And I kind of felt bad because I, I came on here and I praised psyllium husk because initially it was working. Psyllium husk is essentially just fiber. Since then, I found that ginger is just much, much more effective for any sort of digestive issue that you have. I don't know if you were seeing right there, but they were saying that it helps nausea. So if you're feeling like vomiting or you just feel really queasy, it's gonna help that. But then it also, it can treat chronic indigestion. So if there's things that are kind of trapped in your stomach, it can push them along. And I think that's because it's so spicy. I think generally spicy things tend to like aggravate things and move things and that kind of shakes things up and kind of eliminates them. But I know a lot of people when they hear of ginger, they kind of are wary like, uh oh, like it's gonna make my stomach hurt or from my experience with ginger is it's a very helpful for anything that your stomach's going through if you have some bad stuff in your stomach and some stuff that really needs to be eliminated but you know you're going you have a lot going on in life the ginger may push that out but then there's been several times where my stomach's just not feeling so strong maybe I ate really late or I had just some cheap like sweets or something in the morning I take this and my stomach just feels stronger most of the time I feel that strength and if I do feel anything in my stomach, it's because something needed to happen anyway. So it's very rare that I have like a painful issue with ginger. And then also I have to double check this, but the testosterone benefits, I'm pretty sure I Googled ginger and testosterone and there was supposed to be some benefits, supposed to be some increase in testosterone. And then I believe I Googled turmeric and testosterone and turmeric didn't have any benefits for testosterone. 
So I was kind of shocked by that because most people go for the turmeric. It seems like more exotic than ginger. You know, I, everyone's heard of ginger. Oh, turmeric, and then it's orange, you know? So I think for certain people, including myself included, I just love it way more than turmeric. Although I like turmeric and I could take turmeric all the time, I get much more benefits taking ginger. And then some joint benefits. I do feel some joint help with this. I know that turmeric is good for that as well. Let's go into the cons of this supplement. The cons, I really don't have too many. Um, it's spicy so if you mix it in like a shake and you want to put a lot of ginger in there it might be like spicy which is kind of weird when you're thinking about like a fruity mix of good supplements it's weird that it's hot and spicy I would recommend ginger for just about everybody I don't really know anybody who really wouldn't benefit from this in their life I really really enjoy it again it's kind of an all-in-one digestive aid my two best things that I use to naturally push things along in my stomach is ginger i usually take it in the morning and then magnesium citrate at night magnesium citrate is the cheapest kind of magnesium i think or one of the cheapest and then it has kind of like a laxative effect that's why i take it puts more water into your stomach so it passes things through but psyllium husk just has it's just fiber it does push things along but it's not like the ginger where you're getting a lot of other benefits while you're taking something to just fix your stomach so ginger is probably my number one most recommended for all digestive issues across the board. My personal favorite, again, I go for about anywhere from 500 to 2000 milligrams based on what I need. People are afraid that it's gonna make your stomach hurt. It might make your stomach feel a lot better. I mean, that's what it does for me most of the time, but we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.